to create a better quality life, despite having a long-term illness, have brought me here to Paris where I now live part of each year. I certainly enjoy many of Paris's stunning tourist attractions while here, but too often visiting those sites involves inching my way forward in long lines or threading my way through a dense sea of camera-toting visitors. On some days, this can really exhaust me. Sometimes the crowds can not only take the fun out of the experience, but as I peer over other people's shoulders, it can be difficult to see what I've come to look at in the first place. The experience can feel like a kind of drive-by tourism. At those moments, I long to visit sites which are more relaxing, where I feel I can look around more freely and really experience more of the hidden side of Paris. So when I want to get off the beaten track, one of my favorite outings here is to head to the Jardin des Plantes and then afterwards to the Café de la Mosquée for tea. The Jardin des Plantes, which means the Garden of Plants, is a large park which isn't as well known to tourists as other Paris parks. If I had children, this is one of the places that I would take them. The park is much more than a garden. Two kid-friendly natural science museums are located here and the path leading up to one of them bursts with seasonable flowers in every conceivable shape and color. Wander further into the park and you'll find such things as an alpine garden and an enormous elegant greenhouse awash in heat-loving plants. My Parisian friends with families enjoy taking their children to the menagerie in the park, which is essentially a small outdoor zoo. My favorite part of the menagerie would have to be the pink flamingos because you don't see them very often in colder climates. Next to the menagerie, there is even a playground. But the place in the park that particularly enchants me is a small kiosk set atop a hill. To get there, you have to meander through a labyrinth of manicured hedges. Once you emerge inside the kiosk, there is a small but very lovely view. Now, after all of this climbing and walking, I'm often in need of refreshment. Happily, one of my favorite cafes, which definitely qualifies as an off-the-beaten-track gem, happens to be located nearby on Rue Geoffroy Saint-Hilaire, a street that runs along one side of the park. The Café de la Mosquée is more than a café because it is attached to Paris's oldest mosque. When I step through the Moorish arch, which forms the café's entrance, it is hard to believe that I'm in Paris. An arching tree in the center of the courtyard is encircled by blue and white tiled tables and wicker chairs. Their geometric patterns form a lively contrast to the whitewashed walls decorated with tiles pulsating with Islamic patterns. The Café de la Mosquée is known for its sweet mint tea served in glasses, but you can also select Moroccan pastries at the counter or choose to eat a proper Moroccan meal, such as couscous. If you really want to go for the whole exotic feel of the place, relax your tired limbs in their hammam bath, which is something like a steam bath. But separate bathing times are scheduled for men and women, so be sure to ask about the schedule. I love how after spending a morning or afternoon at Le Jardin des Plantes and La Mosquée, I feel as if I've been transported to a different world which seems both far away from typical Paris and yet at the same time very much a part of the city's wonderful variety. Would you like to know why I love my home city Seattle just as much as Paris but for different reasons? Then watch my video, The Grass Looks Greener on the Other Side.